the one success factor of millionaires and also billionaires. What is that one thing? This is gonna be the thing I'm gonna share with you that's gonna make or break your business. It's all about their ability to consistently make the right decisions at the right time that produce the right result. I'll say that again. The ability to consistently make the right decisions at the right timing that produce the right result. That is the secret of success for millionaires and billionaires. Now, one of the core things why I say decision making is one of the critical deciding factors of your success is going to be understanding how you're gonna make decisions. I had the opportunity, for example, to invest half a million dollars in a SaaS business last year. I had to decide what was the decision that I was gonna make. I had to review all these different options. I had to weigh the ups and the downs and all these different things because I don't know about you, but $500,000 is a lot of money, even to me. So for example, pulling that trigger, you have to assess the business, you have to assess all these things. If you put in the money, what's gonna happen? If you don't put in the money, what's gonna happen? Now that's one of the big decisions that I give you an example of. But for example, what about the small decisions that you make every single day? Because that's what's gonna really make the difference. Small decisions like in your business where who to hire, who to fire, why should you bring someone on? How are you gonna leverage your resources, your cash flow to be able to go to the next step? What is the next step? Once you solidify your next six month or three month plan or quarter plan, whatever it is, if you execute on that, what is the result of it? What's the pros and the cons? All those things are all about the decision making ability that you make. The reason why, for example, Jeff Bezos, Jack Ma, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, doesn't matter who you name, anybody that's well known or even successful have made key decisions, not the big ones, but the small ones that add up every single day that bring them to where they are now all the small decisions that they had to make every single day, whether they should work one hour, five hours, eight hours, whether they put in 10, 15 hours a day, every single day of their life, or what specific ways to leverage your resources. How are they going to make the right decisions at the right time that produce the right result? That's why it's so important for you to understand the decision-making thing. I'm gonna give you three core questions that my mentor gave me that is simple, it's clear, you don't have to overwhelm yourself because analysis by paralysis is one of the dangers of decision making. So the three questions is, the first one, what is the upside? The first thing I want to always consider, and we're really good at this as human beings, is what is the upside in our business? What are the advantages, what are the pros, what are the things that we're gonna get if we make the decision to actually execute on that? The second thing is what's the downside? What could you stand to lose? What could the alternatives be? to that specific decision. What about the resources that you invest? You wanna make sure you cover your downside, but you gotta know what the downside is first. And the final one, and the most important question of all, can you live with the downside? Meaning that, can you actually understand once you have that downside, if I put in $500,000 into that SaaS business and they lost it all, can I live with that? Can I actually understand that in that moment, if I lost $500,000, what would that do to me personally? What would that do to the business? You gotta weigh that risk and you gotta weigh the reward. You can't just be thinking about the upside all the time. That's a critical thing. What's the upside, what's the downside? Can you live with the downside? The most important part. The second most important thing of why decision making is the one critical core factor of success is to understand and deeply reflect on decisions that you've made up to this point in your life. It doesn't matter if you're 20 or 30 or 40, 50, at this age point in your life right now, I want you to look back and I want you to actually get a document where you list out what is the decisions that you made in your life to get to where you are today? A, B, C, D, any of the major or also the minor decisions that you make right now and also in the past. I want you to analyze, I want you to understand your own decision-making mindset and I want you to adjust it where you're focusing on understanding that the big decisions you ask yourself, those three critical questions, but every single day, the decisions that you choose to make, whether you decide to work X amount of hours, who you decide to engage with and surround yourself with, how you decide to leverage certain aspects in your life, the decisions that you make every single day, the minor ones, make sure that you're aware of those and develop that self-awareness because once you have that self-awareness, you're gonna be able to understand your decision-making ability much more deeper and once you have that depth, you're able to take it forward to the next level. Every single day, I always have a sheet where I look at what are the top three outcomes and I'm making decision and defined outcome like this is what I'm gonna do these three days. This is what I'm gonna do this week. This is our quarter one plan, and this is what's gonna happen. Even the small, minor things of like when to wake up, when to eat breakfast, when to eat lunch, when to eat dinner. Who should I meet today? Who should I meet next week? Why should I meet them? 
All these things are decisions that you're making and that compound and add up. The critical word here is compounding. So every single decision that you make, however small, compounds into a big and massive result. Always remember, cause equals effect. Decision equals results. So you wanna make sure whether that's a good or a bad result that you make the right decisions in your life and your business that's gonna move you forward and give you the experience without making a ton of mistakes. But when you do the analysis, you're able to understand how to reduce the amount of mistakes that you make. And we always consider mistakes and decisions that don't give us the outcomes that we want. So that's why we wanna focus on that. Understand that when you reflect on this, you'll understand your decision-making ability, you reduce the amount of mistakes that you make in your life. Finally, now that you know the one critical deciding factor of millionaires and billionaires, you can apply this into your own lives to make sure that you can take your business and your life to the next level by reducing the amount of mistakes that you make. So if you got one core insight from this video, I want you to comment below and let me know right now, what is that one thing that you got from this video? Make sure you like this video, and the most important thing is that you subscribe to the channel so you get things like this, or I'm sharing with you from the real world experience of decision making abilities, all these things are how you can take your entrepreneurial mindset and your business to the next level. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get future releases and updates on videos that I put out for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.